This program is sponsored in part by Municipal Credit Union, serving the financial needs of our members since 1916. MCU, strong, trusted, growing. Transit Check saves money for commuters, lowers payroll taxes for businesses, and it's also good for the environment. With Transit Check, everyone benefits. The Transit Managerial Benevolent Association, protecting the rights of non-represented, active, and retired managerial employees within the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. Mike Landy, President. Whether it's a landmark or a nightlight, Con Edison knows everything that depends on power matters to someone. So everything matters to us. Con Edison, everything matters. Transport Workers Union Local 100, representing the 35,000 men and women who move New York. We're New York's public transit union. John Samuelson, President. And by the Patrolmen's Benevolent Association of the City of New York, fighting for the rights of the police officers who protect New York City. Patrick J. Lynch, President. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Transit Transit News Magazine. We have a very special holiday program for you this month, but unfortunately it is also our last show. I'm Ozzy Crew. That's right, Ozzy. Yes, sadly, after 20 years and literally thousands of stories about the MTA, our mass transit system, and its people, our show, like all good things, must come to an end. I'm Pete Palomero. We had a great run, but it's not over yet. We have a wonderful holiday show for your enjoyment. I'm Lena Lansky. And also on this month's show, we're going to take a look back in time at 20 years on the air. And we have a lot of great hosts. So sit back, grab your hot chocolate, and enjoy the show. I'm Mark Gross. I'm Marlene Stein, and as the show's host, I've been to some cool places and have seen some extraordinary things. And I'm Joseph M. Khaleesi. That's so true, Marlene. I once did a story from Inner Mongolia, China that garnered me a 2004 Telly Award. And speaking of cool places, in the story next, we're taking you behind the stage door of Radio City Music Hall with Lauren Landy. Radio City's Stage Door Tour is a must-see attraction at the legendary Radio City Music Hall for all New Yorkers and visitors to the Big Apple. So Lauren, thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. And uh, welcome to the Stage Door Tour. While on the one-hour walking tour, guests will explore the beautiful Art Deco interior and learn the secrets of the great stage. Starting with the grand foyer that displays its annual Christmas tree hung from their 60-foot ceilings. Radio City opened its doors on December 27, 1932. Since then, we've had over 300 million visitors pass through our doors. Now, the interior designer for Radio City Music Hall is a gentleman named Donald Desky. And in 1931, he competed with four major interior design companies to win the opportunity to be Radio City's interior designer. The interior design isn't the only amazing aspect of Radio City, but also its Art Deco decor seen on the walls and carpet. One of the things that I, I love about the theater is the wall covering. It's at each level of the theater. It's hand block linen. It's by the artist Ruth Reeves, the same woman who did the carpet with the instruments. And it's called History of Theater. While also in the theater, you will see one of the largest performing stages in the world. We have the original stage from 1932, and it's powered by hydraulics. Our stage is comprised of three main elevators and the pit elevator. Our proscenium represents a sunset as well as a sunrise, and even our curtain is a deep golden color because it's meant to represent the sun. Interesting thing about the curtain, it has 13 motors attached to it, which enable it to create a medley of different patterns. Visitors may also have the chance to meet one of the Rockettes from Radio City's Christmas Spectacular. Christmas Spectacular 
which is America's number one holiday production, with more than one million people attending annually, will be open until December 31st. And the Stage Door Tour is available all year round. Here at Radio City's Stage Door Tour, you can get a backstage pass on how they create the magic of Christmas. I'm Lauren Landy, reporting for Transit Transit News. Transit Transit News Magazine was more than just a TV show. It was a way for New York City Transit employees to connect. I'm Leon Goodman. And one way they connected was through music, like our employee sing-along, which lasted for 10 years. Here's a look back. Our show has highlighted some amazing one-day railroad getaways and MetroCard deals available through the MTA. Hi, I'm Stacy Romano, and when I was hosting this show, I was a student, so those MetroCard deals came in handy, like this one, to Discovery Times Square. Here's Michael Goldstein and the Avengers Station. New York Comic Con opened its doors for those who love fantasy to celebrate together at the world's largest pop culture convention. 2006, we launched New York Comic Con, and we expected like five, six thousand people to show up, and about twenty thousand people showed up. So we kind of thought, man, we must be onto something. We better figure out what we're doing. So this is now the ninth New York Comic Con. It shows 151,000 people, and we still don't know what we're doing. And with over 800 exhibitors and vendors, Comic Con has something for everyone. Like vintage comics, you know, new comics publishers, graphic novels, anime, manga, uh, toys, video games, film, TV, like it's a little bit of everything. You can meet creators, you can meet film directors and stars, like it's your world, you know, and it's all condensed into one place at one time over four days. With the Javits Center filled with intricate costumes, special guests, and events, fans were very excited to be a part of this year's Comic Con. No one's judgmental. Everyone's accepting of what you wear and what you do and what you're into. You can talk to anyone. You make so many friends. The people are great here. Everybody's comic book lovers. Everybody loves the same things. They're here for video games, having a good time. I'm just loving being in the city. I'm, in, I'm from Atlanta, so this is like, wow. <laughs> this is really fun. If you miss Comic-Con and want to check out some other cool stuff, go to the Discovery Center in Times Square. 
Discovery Times Square is hosting Marvel's Avengers Station, where guests can dive right in to the Avengers experience as a member of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's a completely immersive experience where visitors are able to train as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. They have access to sensitive S.H.I.E.L.D. files. They'll be able to see, you know, what happens to themselves once they're exposed to gamma radiation. They can test their strength against Captain America. And they can also map out planets in Thor's observatory. Jam-packed with movie memorabilia, interactive exhibits, and history, every visitor will have something to marvel over. Uh, Marvel's Avengers Station features props and costumes from the original Avengers movie. So when people are coming to visit the exhibit, they get to see Captain America's suit up close. They get to see Thor's um, costume up close. They also come face to face with the Shatari warrior. You know, really exciting stuff they wouldn't really be able to see otherwise. You know, it's a combination of science pop culture and entertainment. You know, when you're coming to see Captain America's shield, you're gonna learn the science behind that. Um, what happens to yourself when you're exposed to gamma radiation. So like I said, there's an entertaining component and an educational component as well. And of course, the best way to get there is with transit. Well, the easiest way, of course, is to get here by subway. We recommend taking the 123 AC and RQ train to Times Square 42nd Street, and we're two blocks north of that. And riders can even use that MetroCard to get a discount. MetroCard riders can come to the box office, show their MetroCard, and they receive 20% off admission to Marvel's Avengers Station. And with the power of the MetroCard, even you can become an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm Mike Newton goldstein reporting for Transit Transit News. Hi, I'm Jesse Maslowski. Over the years, Transit News has been on the front line of our employees. And one stop during the holidays were the 21 bus depots. That's right, Jesse. And over the past 10 years, employees from the Department of Buses have been showing off their talents by singing for the kids. Here's a look back at our bus sing-alongs. On the first day of transit, the TA gave to me a free ride in New York City. On the second day of transit, the TA gave to me Two metro cars and a free ride in New York City. On the third day of Christmas, the TA came to me. Three brand new buses, two metro cars, and a free transfer to a bus or train. On the fourth day of transit, the TA gave to me. Four station agents, three accessories, two metro cars, and a free ride in New York City. On the fifth day of transit, the TA gave to me five golden tokens. Four subway cars, three brand new buses, two metro cars, and a free ride in New York City. On the sixth day of Christmas, the TA gave to me six wheels of turning.
Nine trains are traveling, eight trains are turning, seven trains are flushing, six high-tech buses, five heated buses. Four trains so empty, three brand new buses, two metro park, and a free transfer to a bus or train. On the 12th day of transit, the TA gave to me 12 maps of guidance. Hi, I'm Vivian Guzman. During our time here at Transit, we've visited some interesting places and done some unusual things. And let's not forget the restaurants, both near and far. And I'm Eric Frederick. This holiday, we've invited Junior's Restaurant in Brooklyn to give you some cooking tips. Here's Aubrey Van Allen and Chef Adam in the mix. Hello everybody, I'm Aubrey Van Allen and I'm here with Chef Adam Marks at Junior's Restaurant in Brooklyn. And today, we're cooking up a holiday meal. Adam, what are we cooking today? Well, today we're actually going to be doing a uh, honey glazed ham. We're going to be doing a nice sweet potato souffle as well as a traditional chestnut stuffing. So we're going to be uh, doing the ingredients for all three of those items. And uh, the first thing that we're going to start with is going to be the honey glazed ham. First thing that I've done already, as you can see here, we've actually scored the ham, taken off some of the extra fat, and we've inserted some of the cloves. Now the cloves are very simple. They go in almost just like thumbtacks. If you want to go ahead and take one, and then it is ready for the maple syrup. Okay. Before we put it in the oven, we put the cloves, we put the maple syrup, and then after it's about halfway done, we go ahead and we finish it off with a glaze. It makes it actually nice and tender as well. So what do we do next? Okay, for a 14 pound ham, we put it in the oven at 350 for about two and a half hours. So Adam, while the ham's cooking, what can we prepare next? Okay, so the ham's gonna cook for about two hours and then right before it's ready to come out of the oven, we're gonna have to glaze it. So it's a very simple, easy recipe for the glaze. Okay, take a little whisk, I'm gonna have you do a little work here. And take <laughs> some brown sugar, about two and a half cups of brown sugar. Okay, we're gonna take maple syrup. The re remaining, we glaze the ham with this in the beginning. About a cup of maple syrup, a half a cup of honey. Okay. And lastly, pineapple juice. And all you need to do is just mix that all together. What a tease, this smells great. So tell us a little bit about Junior's Restaurant. Well, Junior's has been here since 1950. Before that, it was actually the Enduro Diner. This is the third generation of Rosens that have uh, been in this location. Uh, we are known primarily for cheesecakes, but also fantastic food, great service, uh, and we keep improving, we're expanding, and uh, we're a family-friendly restaurant. So what do we add next? All right, so the last thing that we put into the glaze is a little bit of cinnamon as well as nutmeg. It's about two tablespoons of cinnamon, one tablespoon of nutmeg. Mix it all together. And then all you're gonna do is just basically put that aside and wait for the ham to come out of the oven. All right, so we've had the ham in the oven for about two hours now. And you can see that the maple syrup is nicely caramelized all over the ham. So that Aubrey, the last thing we have to do is just put a little bit more glaze over the top. Okay. So if you wanna just take the pastry brush, you could drizzle the glaze right over the top and then just brush it on. Now we're doing something a little bit different. So I see we moved over to the stove. What are we cooking, Chef? Okay, we're gonna make the chestnut stuffing on the stove. It's one of the uh, cooked recipes that we did before. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add the celery, the onion, and the garlic. We're gonna go ahead and throw that right in the pan. Everything goes in very quickly. Okay, and that's it. And we just mix it around a little bit. We're gonna let that cook down, okay? Once those come translucent, nice and clear, softly cooked, we're gonna add the chestnuts. We're gonna add raisins. Okay, and once again, we're gonna get that nice and mixed up, let it all cook down. So we're gonna go ahead and finish sauteing everything. Once everything comes nice and soft, we're gonna add the croutons into it. Great. Okay, and a little bit of turkey stock. Now, once again, just remember, if somebody's allergic to nuts, you don't have to put the chestnuts in this recipe. Okay. Okay, to finish it up, we're gonna put a little bit of fresh parsley. Great. We mix it all together until the croutons absorb all the liquid. And what's next? 
And then the next thing we do is we just transfer it into a buttered pan and it goes right into the oven. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this in the oven, Aubrey. Let's go ahead and open it all the way up. We're in there, 350 degrees, 40 minutes, and we're good to go. Well, I'm hungry now. Let's go eat. All right, let's go do it. Chef, this looks absolutely delicious. Thank you, but don't forget, you can't come to Junior's and not have cheesecake. And right on time. So if you're like me and cooking just isn't your thing, come to Junior's and unwrap your holiday meal. I'm Aubrey Van Allen, reporting for Transit Transit News. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. I'm Thalia Perez. Transit News has trained more than 300 interns, and many of them, like us, have moved on to professional television news careers. I mean, if it wasn't for Transit News, I wouldn't have accomplished everything I have in becoming an Emmy Award-winning news reporter for News 12 Networks. And I'm Tamani Woolley. Thanks to Winston, I'm now an anchor reporter at New York One News. And speaking of Winston, as our news director, he has forged relationships with universities throughout the country. Here's a look back at some of our past interns. But whether you're on land or sea, you never know when you're going to need blood. Reporting for Transit Transit News, I'm Katrina Gutlay. I'm Stephanie Simon. I'm Kara Castanova. I'm Dan Strickland. I'm Jennifer Polsoni. For Transit Transit News, I'm Luz Maria Marino. Trained police officers teach explore classes like this one on proper cuffing techniques. I'm Elsie Mujica. I'm Jonathan Vigliotti. I'm Nicole Monroe. Reporting for Transit Transit News, I'm Maya Nikki. Now let's experience the magic. <laughs> This is Mambo Italiano, where it's all about food, fun, and family. I know this one captured mine. These powwows have been bringing tribes together for centuries. Reporting for Transit Transit News, I'm Katie Ball. Internships are the most valuable experience for any young adult. The experience and knowledge gained is unparalleled to what is taught in a classroom. For Transit Transit News, I'm Michelle Caruso. We're here at Liberty Helicopter Tours, which offers unique aerial views of the city. But it's not just for tourists, locals can enjoy it too. I'm Stacey Romano. Reporting for Transit Transit News, I'm Yuridia Pena. I'm Katrina Gutlet. Andrew Falzone, Transit Transit News. I'm Eric Frederick. I'm Beth Cochran. Reporting for Transit Transit News. I'm Amsel Busan, reporting for Transit Transit News. I'm Alicia Jack. I'm Emmanuel Alexander Jr. It's the best party in town. I'm Monique Wiles reporting for Transit Transit News. Woo! And it also has a message that you can carry throughout the year. I'm Tamani Woolley. I'm Drew Dougal reporting for Transit Transit News. I'm Dave Wallen. And don't forget your Metro card. I'm Abe Najad. I'm Tracy Xantis. I'm Archie Mirage for Transit Transit News. From the northbound Q train, I'm Nader Awaz. I'm Malika Simmons. I'm Masi Valdez for Transit Transit News. <laughs> That's good. I'm Claudia Matos. I'm Rita Martinez. I'm Hella Anderson. I'm Rhea Titus. I'm Orrin Freeman reporting. For Transit Transit News, I'm Jesse Maslowski. I'm Melissa Vargas. Now back to the show. I'm Crystal Kaloris, and I've got that story. I'm Brandon Snively reporting for Transit Transit News. For Transit Transit News, I'm Kevin Beeson. <laughs> Hi, I'm Al O'Leary. It was my pleasure to serve as a co-host on the show from 1996 to 1999. Some of my fondest memories working at New York City Transit were right here on this show. But it was always the employees and the staff that really made the show a success. In particular, our master editor, Chris Abramides. And I'm Thera Washington, one of the 50 volunteers, reporters, and hosts of Transit News. Everyone you've seen on this program has been an MTA employee. So let's take a look back at some of our on-air staff. We've gone to a lot of unusual places on our show, Transit Transit, but I don't think many of our viewers have ever had a chance to see New York City from the nose gun of a B-17. You can get here from almost anywhere. Reporting for Transit Transit News, I'm Valerie Williams. So we're going to take you where no other person has gone before. Hi, I'm Ozzy Cruz. I'm Giselle Turner at the Bronx Zoo. And me and my Harley rode this town. Let's take you on a tour and see what's new. This is Linda Sylvester. I'm Nora Bassett. From Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus, I'm Mara Sanchez. Thanks for watching. I'm going to grab you by the wrist. It's going to kick me low, bring my elbow to my face, and crank it. 
This is Bonnie Lee reporting for Transit Transit News. I'm Mark Gross. Thanks for riding. I'm Angel Dixon Balls reporting for Transit Transit. You could. And you had to, you couldn't eat in places. I'm Joe O'Hagan for Transit Transit News. The Williamsburg Bridge is more than ready to meet the challenges of the next 100 years. We saw the magnificent new stadium. So if you see something, say something. Well, the Brooklyn Museum of Art has just had a huge facelift. I'm Arnaldo Lopez. Reporting for Transit Transit News, I'm Mike Chaw. And I'm Loretta Ebikhausen. Thanks for riding. I'm Ron Whitefeld, the sports guy. And whether you work for New York City Transit, or if you're one of our customers, everyone's welcome to come along for the ride. Whoa. Wow, that is power. I'm Ken Levy for Transit Transit News. I'm Lena Lansky reporting for Transit Transit News. I'm Lindsay Gossin. I'm Leon Goodman. I'm Michael Rabinowitz. The damage to this under river tube was extraordinary, and it'll take an extraordinary effort to bring it back. Comto is helping young people succeed. I'm Trina Moore reporting for Transit Transit News. So we've come to the end of our show. And now I'd like to introduce the man who started it all, the show creator, news director, Winston Mitchell. I want to thank all our volunteer reporters, interns, show sponsors, and especially you, our viewing audience, for watching this show over these past 20 years and letting us into your homes. It's been my pleasure to work with so many great people in the world's number one city, giving you the best of the MTA and New York City Transit. I'm your news director, Winston Mitchell, signing off. Well, that just about wraps up this, our last program. If you have any questions, comments, or just want to share what the show meant to you, email us at transittransitnews at nyct.com. I'm Ozzy Cruz. Thanks for writing. And I'm Pete Palomero. And from all of us at Transit Transit News Magazine, one final time. Thanks, thanks for watching. watching. This program is sponsored in part by Municipal Credit Union, serving the financial needs of our members since 1916. MCU, strong, trusted, growing. Transit Check saves money for commuters, lowers payroll taxes for businesses, and it's also good for the environment. With Transit Check, everyone benefits. Transit Managerial Benevolent Association, protecting the rights of non-represented, active, and retired managerial employees within the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. Mike Landy, President. Whether it's a landmark or a nightlife, Con Edison knows everything that depends on power matters to someone, so everything matters to us. Con Edison, everything matters. Transport Workers Union Local 100, representing the 35,000 men and women who move New York. We're New York's public transit union. John Samuelson, President. And by the Patrolman's Benevolent Association of the City of New York, fighting for the rights of the police officers who protect New York City. Patrick J. Lynch, President.